Welcome everyone to the Q&A session for our upcoming course, Awaken Your Healing Rhythms. A seven week training in drumming to transform emotions and body healing and liberate joy. I'm Lisa Bunnies, and I'm really looking forward to this Q&A conversation for the Shift Network, where we'll explore the teachings of Christine Stevens and ask your questions about her upcoming seven-week course, Awaken Your Healing Rhythm, Rhythms, which begins Tuesday, September 3rd. And a little later, I'll explain how you can participate in this course, even if you can't attend the live sessions. But first, I want to introduce our guest. Christine Stevens is an internationally acclaimed speaker, author, and music therapist. Holding master's degrees in both social work and music therapy, Christine inspires people all over the world with her message that music promotes holistic health, spirituality, and wellness. Christine is the founder of Upbeat Drum Circles, offering diversity training, team building, and wellness presentations worldwide. As a contributing writer, Christine's work has been featured in Fitness Magazine, Spirituality and Health, Body and Soul, and many other publications. And in just a few minutes, we're going to open up for your questions. But first, I want to bring Christine online. Welcome, Christine. It's so great to have you here today. Please say hello with my drum. Thank you, Lisa. It's great getting to know you through the Sound Healing Global Summit. And now I get to have this dialogue with you today. Thank you. Yes, thank you for being here and hello to your drum. <laughs> uh, I'm wondering, Christine, can you start us out today by just telling us a little bit about your upcoming course so people have an idea of what we're talking about today? Yes, um, based upon our great success with Awaken Your Rhythm, which was such a wonderful journey for me to have over 600 people from 30 countries. That was back in February. We asked the community, what would you like to learn more of? And this is definitely my wheelhouse, is the concept of healing rhythms. And it's a deepening level of connecting to the heart. It combines a journey that carries us from the techniques of the drum, the seven healing sounds of the drum. It brings us into permissioning to express and transform our emotions through sound. This is scientific. Um, the beauty of this course is that everyone can do it. I mean, the drum is the most universally accessible. You know, we all can put our hand on it and make sound. I mean, I'm a, you know, recovering survivor of piano lessons, and many of us are. And when you're taking these kind of music lessons in a Western system, and we have to read music, and it can be really stressful, this is very different than that. This is an opportunity for me to transmit the knowledge of my journeys into teachings of many world cultures. My travels, my teachers, my personal experiences. I've had a lot of, wow, mystical deepening experiences, being alone with rhythm in places where I could learn from the elements themselves. Um, and really culminating in an opportunity for you to find your own healing rhythms, your own personal rhythmic signature, that is a powerful feeling when you find that. Um, and also expanding the, the palette of creativity to liberate joy. It's very true. Um, a lot of this is connecting to world cultures where there's a lot more commonality of let's get together and drum. Let's get together and cultivate joy. Allow celebration. We have to break a lot of taboos to connect to these elements through this course. And we will definitely be breaking through with the drum. And we also have world rhythms. I've been joined by Kim Atkinson, Patricia Hatfield, Dramon Kone, and Missy uh, Tomasino. We're gonna have a live um, additional bonus gift where we're gonna get together on the fall equinox and have an equinox drum circle in the virtual plane. So there's just a lot of great blessings coming your way to awaken your healing rhythms. That sounds fantastic. And I, I, I would love a demonstration. I'm pretty sure our viewers would as well. Would you mind? Yes, be happy to. I'm starting the call now with a 14-inch frame drum. Frame drum is one of the earliest drums believed to be invented by women from the grain sieve, meaning the technology that created the circle to um, shed the grain, sieve the grain, 
also became a technology that was the frame that was put with a head, often an animal hide. This drum is from the Remo Drum Company. It's made in America, vegetarian, vegan, uh, approved by the Centers for Disease Control. A lot of my work has been training facilitators to use drumming in medical centers. I'm so excited to tell you that more than ever, we're seeing a proliferation of drumming, group drumming, as a tool for veterans for healing from trauma, from PTSD. Um, we're seeing a study just now came out on chronic pain reduction with group drumming. So it's permeating the medical system. So let's just begin hand on heart. If you're here watching, listening, embodying your own healing rhythm, you don't need to drum to do this next practice. I want to just share with you some of the sounds and patternings of the drum. But we always begin in our course and in my personal practice, we begin with a hand on the heart to remember in the heart center is that beat, is that rhythm that we feel, okay, I begin with the drum that's in my heart, the inward direction. That's the rhythm of life, the inward and outward dialogue. The play of opposites. So that's why I love drumming for healing. It is a bridge to the inner world. So take a breath. And then I'm just going to play for you the elements as a review, and then we'll tune into the intention of each one. So the center of the drum of the bounce resonates the sound of doom or earth. is the fire or top top cop higher pitch right and then we have the water the hand just rests on the drum like water drop just fell it's a wet sound closed and we have air breathing a lot of times when we drum we forget to breathe and then we have rumble to the rim, to the center. And we have resting. And I love these aspects of polarity that we have rhythms and we have resting and we have sound and we have silence and we have earth and we have air and water and fire and they all have the interplay in a rhythm that I'll play for you now. And I'm going to tap my foot with my ankle bells. If you're wondering where that sound is coming from, it's from my foot. I love to do that so I keep the beat. Take each element one by one. And Lisa, you can do this with me. We're just going to begin with the earth sound to feel like the main quality of this is what grounds us. Grounding. We get, we get into so much spiritual upliftment, but we are human beings on this planet. Sometimes my mantra is gravity. I'm here. I feel my toe roots in the earth. So just take a breath. Feel into what grounds you. Feel grounded in this earth quality of sound. Ah. I like 
like to ask you to think about where in your life do you need more grounding, more earth? When's the last time you took your shoes off, stood on the earth? What happens when we combine these two qualities that we're grounded and passionate? What helps you stay in the flow? What does water feel like for you? Cleansing. Flowing. And let's connect to the element of air. I love the sound of the drum. And breathing, and where in your life do you need more breath, more air? Sometimes it's the wind of change as we are on the precipice of the next season right now. And sometimes it's just a deep breath. Feeling it all together. Water, water, Can you hear all these sounds? Thank you. 
coming back to that earth beat, that heartbeat. Take a breath. Ooh, that was a little rhythm journey, huh? Because it all comes really back down to feeling that center. And resting for a moment. And then hand on heart. Bring that energy back to your inner heart, your inner drum. And notice if you're, you're still feeling the beat or hearing it. Notice if your cells feel a little more invigorated. You know, we are primed for rhythm. Our motor system can't help but feel the energy of the rhythm, and that's entrainment. So thank you for joining me in that journey through the frame drum, one of the oldest drums, and an opportunity to notice how you are connected to rhythm and how the healing and the joy and the transformation can happen through drumming. Thank you. All right. Wow. Well, thank you, Christine, for energizing this conversation and uh, sort of connecting us all. That was uh, that was that was fun. <laughs> it made me want to get out of my chair and bounce around a little. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So now we have the rest of our time to dive into our viewers' questions uh, for Christine as we prepare for her upcoming course. Again, that's called "Awaken Your Healing Rhythms," and it begins Tuesday, September third. If you want to check out the website and learn more about the seven-week course, you can visit yourhealingrhythms.com. And it's uh, at the bottom part of the screen, in case you don't know how to spell rhythms, that's one of those tricky words, yourhealingrhythms.com to see the full description. So let's go ahead and get started with questions. If you have a question for Christine, go ahead and type it in, and I'll be happy to read it out loud. And in the meantime, we've already got some questions waiting. Uh, in fact, the most frequently asked question, so many people are asking this, Christine. I will read Elaine's version of it. Elaine says, when picking a first basic drum, which one is the best? Which is the best for a starter drum? What is the best size? I need the bare bones minimum to start with. Great question. I'm so glad to be asked that because it makes me excited that people are getting their first drum. It's a kind of an initiation um, because a lot of us have been told we're not musical or we're not rhythmical. I mean, I personally had that told to me when I was in college. I never would have fathomed that I would be buying a drum. It's, a, it's an initiation. So congratulations. I always say the drum shows up when people are transforming. And so as we discover what drum we want to purchase or, or discover or bring into our lives, it's the beginning of a journey. It's exciting. Um, there's a lot of factors that go into the drums that you want to use in this course. The first factor might be the weight of the drum. I mean, I remember noticing what a difference it was to have an instrument that was lightweight that I could put in my backpack. Like my intention was to drum in nature. I made sure I had an instrument I could fit in my backpack and take a drum outside, a 10 inch frame drum. So the, the I'll, maybe I'll answer that by showing you in the chronological story of the drum. I'll just give you a short uh, tour of three good drums to, to use for this course. So the frame drum that I just used is a great option because again, it's eco. You know, it's ecologically awesome. No trees are chopped down for this. They're used recycled materials. They're made in America. That's pretty rare and in the drum world. And so also these last really well. They're not as affected by weather. Boy, is that, you know, significant if you live in a hot area or a desert climate, it can crack your skin of your drum if you don't keep moistening it. So drum care is important. So this is the frame drum 14 inch. Great size. I sometimes use a 16 inch as well, but I wanted to demonstrate this because I'm just going to show you. You can put it between your knees. Ta da! See? You can fit it right there between your legs, and then you, that way the frame drum whoops, flips over to becoming you know, this great uh, body drum. So the frame drum is a great choice simply because you're really beginning at the beginning. 
it's lightweight. It uh, can be played so many different ways. Really, it's got so much flexibility and it's the most affordable choice. The second thing I'll say about this is the power of decorating. Hold on, I just had, I think I, yeah, I got us a little bit off with the camera, excuse me. But the power of decorating your drum, and so that brings me to my personal healing drum. And the power of decorating this, I have a charm on mine that was gifted to me at a women's ceremony. And I have a special mallet, you know, so these things become really personalized. Many people in our last class painted their drums. Uh, and also they took Sharpies and strings and hung them around the rim of the drum. Uh, it doesn't change the sound we're finding to use acrylics on the drum head, which is great. You can also use um, Sharpies. I saw somebody take a stencil and create a mandala image in the center of their drum. Beautiful. It's funny, as a music therapist, we always found that when there was a design in the center, it helped the people that we worked with, with ADHD or Alzheimer's, they could see that center. It helped them with their drumming. Otherwise, this whole big white open space, right? So then let's go to this concept of a uh, high drum called sometimes a medicine drum, a shaman drum, a buffalo drum. It's got a lot of names, a hoop drum. Uh, I'm liking this kind of style because I can hold it in the back and it's usually played with a mallet. This is from a deer hide and the design that you see on it comes from the artist who created it from Utah and I get a lot of different sounds in this drum, including the rim. Very resonant over my heart. I use this a lot in ceremonies. I use this for singing and chanting. And it, again, it's strung with a back so that I can hold it while I play. That's the big difference from the frame drum, right? This is open mouth, open wide. This has the tool so that I can hold it in the center. And the last drum I'll show you that many people like in this course is a goblet shaped body drum. And that drum I have over there on the stand, it's a doombeck or a djembe, looks like this. Um, they can be played lap style. They can be played between the leg style. And this kind of a drum, this one I'm showing you is called the Festival Djembe from Remo. Um, this kind of drum allows more of the hands to alternate. So I think it's another factor to think about is what feels more natural to you. And those are the three primary, you know, sort of styles. Cajon is a drum that everybody's loving right now. It's a box that you sit on and play. You've probably seen them. But again, that's an alternating of the hands. So there's a lot to think about, right? Um, but I, I really like to start people on the frame drum simply because now you have a drum that you could play with a mallet or not, or with your hands or not. Um, some of these drums you can actually, this one has the holes or you can drill holes and string the back. So it has a lot of options. Uh, Lisa, you and I were talking about, I was saying to you that before we started this live call, that there was an ethnomusicology study that looked at um, African rhythms, which are considered polyrhythms, many different rhythms intertwining. And the, the theory was that when many people in the village would raise a child, that child would be held by different mothers and it would learn, this child would learn different heartbeats. So this is a reminder that the first drum we have is our heart. For me, there's a very deep personal reason I say that. When I was on a vision quest, which is a practice, spiritual practice of being alone, fasting for a few days, and I do this in Joshua Tree, I sat with my drum and I had this experience, very mystical. Suddenly, I was 
the outer, the drum was outside me and I was inside and my heart was the drum. And I was playing that and it really felt like um, there was other people there with me. Who knows what that was? One of those mystery experiences. But I felt that I was in an inner drum circle and it took me straight into my heart, which that's a powerful place to land. And I had the awareness that the drum beat is this bridge, heartbeat, drum beat. How can I continue to anchor that bridge? What happens when I really feel inside my own heart? I mean, all of us learned from our mother's heartbeat. And all of us have this rhythm inside us. It's the oldest rhythm we've been listening to. That's why we're so wired for rhythm. So I would invite people. The challenge, I think, is that it's hard to find a store where you can just try out all these drums, right? And it's hard. They don't, they're not in a lot of stores these days. So finding either a drum circle that you can go to and like walk up to people and try things, listen, maybe I'll close this answer. I don't mean to go on and on, but I'll close this answer by playing all three of them and letting you hear them. That's a cool idea. I never did this before. And we'll just take a, a three-step journey into these three sounding drums. close with and actually I said I would close but Lisa I thought of one other thing that's been powerful for me okay I was carrying this drum and this drum together, and it occurred to me one day that this is more feminine and this is more masculine. You know, the mallet versus the hand. Not male or female, but masculine and feminine. So it's beautiful to have that balance in your life. So that's how I would answer that question. Oh, and the last, really the last thing I'll say about that is, have fun collecting more than drums. Sometimes I call this percussion. So this is a, a wind chime I made. I gathered shells from the ocean and a piece of coral and string. I recycled all of this and listen. So it's very fun to find, um, I just want to show you a couple of rattles. So it's, it's, I hope to be introducing people to this world of percussion. I mean, it's such a fantastic and exciting way to see how each culture has cultivated a different sound based on a number of factors. What materials that were available, what um, style of drumming, what, how heavy the drum could be. And this is, this is your opportunity. Probably start with a good frame drum to bring you into this class if you're a beginner, like I am, like I was, started with my, started with my uh, medicine drum, and then explore. Go to a drum circle. It's, like a, it's the best way to, find your, to get your hands on different varieties of drums. Thank you. All right, well, thank you for that comprehensive response. I'm sure that helped everybody who wanted to know. Uh, and for those of you who are just joining us, we're here with Christine Stevens learning about her upcoming course, Awaken Your Healing Rhythms, which begins on Tuesday, September 3rd. And you can log on to yourhealingrhythms.com for all the details and to register. So let's get back into the questions here. Um, we've got a question here from Dorothy, uh, who wants to know, what rhythm restores energy? Mm, great question. The concept of energy is so important because right now I've noticed that 
many people are in an energy deprivation situation. We have energy drinks. We have all this, you know, how do I stay healthy? How do I restore my energy? So the rhythm that's excellent for this, and I want to demonstrate this because I like to answer with my drum, of course. Um, let me answer this on the gym day. So if you have, if you're feeling exhausted, I mean, the thing that always happens with drumming is we modulate our energy through the tempo. When I was playing at first, we had a little meditative rhythm. I wanted you to be more contemplative. But if I want to uplift and pick you up a little, I'm going to speed it up a little. I'm going to have a more accented, syncopated rhythm. The origin of this awareness for me was when I was drumming for a women's uh, ceremony, and I, I spent four years in uh, you know, playing for dance classes when I was in uh, studying at university. Because I had a gig playing drums for the modern dance class, and I was seeing how much the rhythm was changing the, the people's bodies. So believe me, you feel this. Um, so one thing is feel right now, as we start with a beat that's more in meditative, I'm put this down just a little so you can see my hand on the drum. People often ask me. Hi, everybody. So let's say I'm feeling very low energy, like this is how I feel. I like to start where I am. Okay, this is where I am. I'm starting to pick it up. Well, I don't, don't want to rush it. It's a journey. Any rhythm you want to take and you speed it up. We start where we are. We transform that by honoring where we're at. I'm exhausted. How do I allow that and create the beat from that? And the other thing that's a great tip, and we're going to learn in the course, a specific rhythm called Vitality, which has a lot of the formula of world culture beats that are for uplifting and dancing and celebrating. And one thing that I think happens with our energy is we have too much talk and not enough sound. Listen, I just came from a, an incredible conference in Santa Fe on using spirituality and mindfulness in behavioral health and addiction treatment. And Dr. Joan Borsenko was there and Master Gu, who spoke with Qigong on the Shift Network. And he had a slide and his slide said, healing emotions, sound. And I sat there, I mean, I'm a trained social worker. And I sat there with my friend and I go, isn't it funny that we got into therapy of talking and it's emotion is sound. So one thing that blocks our energy is not being able to sound out our feelings, to sound, to allow non-words, not verbal, but to be in the experience of voice and rhythm, sound. And the last thing I'll say about this great question is, we all have favorite rhythms and music. And a lot of times if I need a prompt, I put on a playlist and I create these playlists and I give them names. So you have a playlist for celebration or gratitude or upliftment. And in that playlist, you have that ready and you just drum along with that playlist. It's an amazing way to prompt us back into the experience of energy. And we know when we have our energy back, there's a feeling of vitality. I feel like the drum. I resonate with life. I, things flow to me. I'm not pushing myself. Oh, good Lord. I'm always pushing my, too much pushing. I'm in the flow. I'm in the pocket of now. 
I want to be in that pocket of now. There's brain science, but I also learned at this conference that our neural network of presencing and experiencing the spiritual synapses happen when we're playing music, not just listening, playing, because we fall into flow. We can't think and drum at the same time. We fall into a different neural network. We get out of the network of criticism and self-judgment and we get into the network of presencing, experiencing, creativity flows. I want you guys to feel that place through this course. Thanks. All right. Wow. Thank you for that. Uh, some great ideas and stuff. Uh, let's go to a question here from Sheila, who says, hello from Manchester, England. Uh, having worked as a volunteer Reiki therapist at a cancer charity center, can you suggest what type of drumming or beat would you play to promote the best healing outcome? Yes. In our research, what we found with people with cancer, uh, and this is the study that came out in 2001 with Dr. Barry Bittman looking on the psychoneuroimmunology changes after one hour of group drumming. What we found is we didn't start with drumming. We started with breathing. The body is already a rhythmic being. When you think about it, we're breathing, our heart is beating, uh, we sleep and wake to a rhythm, we talk to a rhythm. There are so many rhythms going on already, firing neurons. I mean, very deep internal rhythms, breathing, resting, walking, talking. We're polyrhythms. So we began by having everyone take a breath and relax. And I played the drum beat. I play a heartbeat. I'll, I'll just show you this. They just take a, take a breath and close your eyes. And this is amazing, just to give people permission to slow down and breathe and connect, right? And we can't expect this to happen immediately. This takes usually two to three minutes. You just breathe. Sometimes with adolescents, I would say, take breath in and exhale. You can use the drum as a cue for the inhale and exhale because that's the rhythm of life. Breathing in. Let's all do this. Breathing out. And you know, you facilitators, you can add all kinds of beautiful creative visualization. Breathing in health and vitality. Breathing out fear. However you want to do this. And the second thing we did in our um, research is we had people stretch, you know, move their bodies a little bit, feel the beat. We had people play with shakers. And now we're ready for the drums. And the first thing we did was had people drum the rhythm of their name. Christine Stevens. Christine Stevens. Oh, my God, it's a beat. Christine Stevens. And all of this leads up to... Let's all jam together. And healing beat for this group, you don't want to overstress people. This is the wrong beat to lead for healing. Okay, I'll show you what would be wrong. Come on, everybody. Hurry up. Why aren't you guys playing? Right? This just doesn't match the intention. So it doesn't, can't be too slow either because it's hard to follow a beat that's too slow. You know, so if the goal is to play along, you want to find a medium tempo. It has a little creativity to it. And then add people's beats. And what's really beautiful about group drumming is that you have these dialogues where you play off each other. And all of a sudden you notice you're playing the same as somebody across the circle from you. The important thing about drumming and healing is allowing people to notice. Let's take a break. Let's notice what's changed. And the contraindication with this kind of populations is you don't want to overstress people. So taking breaks, allowing people to put their hands on the drum and feel. And that's the last thing I'll say that's great is when you're in a circle <clears throat> and you're drumming, even if I'm not playing, my drum is vibrating with everybody else's drum. So a lot of times I work with caregivers in bereavement camps 
I have people just hold their hand on their drum and the rest of the group sends them energy and they feel it. And then the next person, um, and the final thing that we do is this guided imagery drumming. So having people drum with love cancer and visualize their bodies feeling well, visualize the drum is carrying you into the next phase of your healing. The drum is releasing for you what you've been carrying. The drum is giving voice to the emotion you've been feeling in your journey. And we close it off with everyone sharing one word, what they took with them from the experience. So that's a little example of that experience. I also think it's good to bring people into a healing rhythm. The way I teach those is I set the intention. So let's say the intention is healing. We're here, we have cancer. Maybe the intention is gratitude. How can we find something that we're grateful for today? Maybe the intention is releasing pain or releasing anger. So if the intention is healing, I say to the group, let's put our hands on their hearts and feel healing. Feel the energy of healing. What is the energy of healing? That's a good question. What does that feel like? Everybody who's listening, you know, what does healing feel like? Or wholeness, which is defined as being of sound mind and body. So they're in spirit. So what does wholeness sound like? And then I might create that rhythm. It's going to go around the drum and end in the center. There's something so powerful of everyone playing a beat together. This is something that we miss when we're at a drum circle and everyone's doing their own thing. We really have an experience of entrainment when we all play a beat together with a specific intentionality. And then we close that beat. It's always important how you end. I like to say, find a natural ending. So as you're playing, maybe it's softening. Maybe we have someone in our lives that we want to send healing energy to right now, as I feel we just generated that energy. So you can dedicate this moment right now to yourself or to someone you know in your life that could use some healing energy. Or the earth, which could really use some healing energy in the Amazon with the fires. We just send that energy with our consciousness and gratitude and appreciation. Uh-huh. Next question. <laughs> All right. Wow. That that was wonderful. Thank you. Um, well, journey. I'm looking at the clock here. What was that? It took us on a little journey. Yeah, it really did. Thank you so much for that. I, I certainly got a lot out of that. I'm sure the uh, person who asked the question did as well. That was uh, um, Sheila from Manchester. Thank you, Sheila. Uh, I'm looking at the clock here, and we have time for one or two more questions. Uh, but before we take those, I want to give a few details about the course itself, because many people are asking about that as well. Uh, once again, it's called Awaken Your Healing Rhythms. And this is going to be just a, a really amazing, fun, and powerful seven-week journey under Christine's expert guidance, where you'll discover a bridge to your inner world from drumbeat to heartbeat and find your own rhythmic signature. And the seven-week course takes place on Tuesdays at noon Pacific, starting Tuesday, September 3rd. And as mentioned earlier, if you can't join us live, that's fine. You won't miss any of the teachings because you will receive audio and video recordings, transcripts, and all course handouts on your course homepage. And also, don't forget, the Shift Network offers a no-risk money-back guarantee on all of our courses, giving you a full two weeks until September 17th in this case to make sure that you absolutely love it. Also, all course participants are invited to connect in a private Facebook community group so you can communicate with one another. 
Also, everyone who registers receives the Awaken Your Healing Rhythms bonus collection. First, you'll receive a nine-track downloadable audio album from Christine entitled Drumming Up Spirit. You'll also get one ticket to a virtual live event she mentioned earlier uh, with Christine and her team, and it's called Virtual Drum Circle Global Gathering Rhythms of Radiance and the Symphony of Change, and that's on the Fall Equinox. Then you'll receive a video teaching from Christine entitled Four Essential Rhythms for Life. And when you register by Midnight Pacific on Thursday, August 29th, you will receive this extra gift, and it is four audio tracks from the Sounds True program from Christine entitled The Healing Drum Learning Program. Play your way to creative expression, energy, and well-being. So before we get back into questions, Christine, let me ask you, what are you most looking forward to sharing in your upcoming course? Oh, that's a hard question. (laughs) Um, I'm most looking forward to the feeling of a community that is transcends boundaries, that transcends languages. It's uh, time we need on this planet. That's what I mean by the symphony of change. We are the rhythmic symphony. And I feel so aligned with the mission of the shift network. If we are shifting consciousness on this planet, which is probably why the drum is calling you, then we want to gather. I think what I most look forward to is what people ask me and what it brings out in me. The the course is very well designed and I've been teaching this kind of material and learning this material for over 20 years. So it's such a great opportunity to bring all of my knowledge into this course. But mostly I look forward to learning from the participants and seeing the connections that happen. It just like amplify, we amplify each other. Okay, wonderful. Looking forward to it myself. I've already signed up. Um, Let's go to a question here from Darlene, who wants to know, what sort of changes can I expect in my life once I find my own rhythmic signature? Mm, Great question. The course culminates in this concept of your rhythmic essence, your rhythmic signature. And this is because I love the word signature or insignia, right? Or your anchored rhythm. What that is about is your individuality. You know, we all exist in this polarity of the me and the we. And we'll be in this community together in the journey, but we really also wanna know in myself, what's that groove that comes from my core, that comes and comes from my core and brings me back to my core. This is inspired, this practice is inspired by my research in the tantric shamanism of the Himalayas. We're talking really old bond tradition of shamanism. And in this tradition, each shaman had their own beat, their own signature beat. And then on top of that, they had their own rhythm to play for the upper world, the happiness rhythm, the dispelling negative emotions rhythms. I'll be teaching some of this of my research. And what, has, what will happen for you in terms of the benefits of having that beat is you now have this unique in all, this is unique because how you play it, how fast, how slow, you think of all the possible parameters in the rhythm, but if you don't think, and in the, in the journey of the course, you get to learn more vocabulary, you get to have more comfortability with the drum, now you're going to get to find out, for me, what is that rhythm that I call home? We all have a soul essence. Right? And sound is a powerful way to anchor and return to that. I know I needed that. When I discovered this in my own personal journey, it just brings me back to self. And we can get distracted from who we are. We can get pulled in lots of directions. And sound, and in this practice of your rhythm signature, and I'm going to teach you how to notate it, which is awesome. So you can learn a couple different ways of how you can We're not going to learn how to write or read music, but I have some cool ways that you can learn how to notate it so that you can carry that with you always. Hmm. All right. Wow. Thank you for that. Uh, We've got a question here from Chris. You, You sort of touched on this a little bit earlier, but let's expand it a little. Chris wants to know, is there a rhythm that can help you let go of anger, fear, anxiety, sadness, et cetera? Yes, absolutely. Um, And it's not just a rhythm. One thing I learned when you guys had the Global Shamanism Summit, Lisa, was um, 
Daniel Fuhr talked about how colonial mind always wants the one answer and how indigenous mind says there's many answers. And so I would offer that just in that list, each one of those is a rhythm, fear, anger, doubt. And this is our module on shadow drumming. This is where we get to really break the taboos of we're not supposed to be loud and we're not supposed to be angry and we're not supposed to be this and that. And no, no, no. We want to step into that. And these rhythms come through the practice of the preparation for this beat in yourself and in your connection to your rhythms. In the connection of knowing these different sounds, the seven healing sounds on the drum and feeling into what's the tempo of my anger? How does my body stand when I'm angry? Yes, the answer is yes, each one of those is a rhythm right now for you, for me. Right now, I'm very angry what's happening with the Amazon and the fires of the trees. I'm angry. So how do I express that? I have a rhythm that I play on my drum. This is Christine's version of anger that has, I'm not going to play it because I'll probably, you know, it'll be too loud. It'll feed back right now. But for me, it's the mallet on this drum because the drum can take it. That's the amazing thing. The drum is strong. It's a powerful way. I've, I've, in my whole life, I've only seen one drum break. And that didn't come from hitting it too hard or playing it too hard. It came from the climate and the crack. So this is the practice of shadow drumming that I'll teach you that allows us to find the beat and find the sound and the powerful thing about rhythm is rhythm is defined as the element of music pertaining to forward motion. So rhythm brings us through anger. We release, we let go, we sound, and we get to know when to stop. I mean, maybe I need to play that anger beat for like an hour. And who knows, tears come. And who knows, voice comes, chant comes. This is again, sound and emotion. This is ancient Qigong Chinese medicine, sound and emotion. So the answer is there's a rhythm for each one of those emotions. We can allow ourselves to sound them, to connect to them, and to give ourselves permission to play them on our tongue. All right, beautiful. Thank you for that. Um, oh, let's go to a question here from one that came to me. Sorry to yes. interrupt you. Go ahead. One way that we practice getting to what the sound is of these emotions is to think of the opposite. Right? So anger would not be this little happy skipping beat. So you can really feel this when you tune into the emotionality of rhythm. Just think to yourself, what would be the opposite of that? Okay. That gives me the clarity of what it's not. And that helps me see what it is. Thank you. Hmm. Okay. That makes sense. Thanks. Um, yeah, I was about to read a question here from Anne who wants to know, what does the heartbeat of humanity sound like? Well, I, I'm watching the clock and I was thinking this is just like the most perfect question to bring us into maybe a closure. I don't know. We'll see how the time goes. But what is that heartbeat of humanity? So let's just close our eyes if you're on this call you're meant to be here on this call or you're watching it in the post recording because the truth is that is the one common beat and we can't uh, all play the same scales in the world but in the global world perspective it turns out that everyone thinks of rhythm and the drum in the same way and that's pretty cool it's the most universal instrument that can join and be played together So just tuning into this rhythm right now. See the whole world, the whole world, each being on this planet, not just the humans, right? All the heartbeats that are beating here. This is the metakuyase, all my relations. And I'd like to imagine that there's a drum large enough for every 
being to join, you know, that we're all connecting to this heartbeat because the heartbeat is the being alive. And if that heartbeat journeyed to Africa, it would be. And if that heartbeat journeyed to Iraq, it would be. That heartbeat journey to New Orleans, it'd be. And if that heartbeat journey to Japan, it would be the Taiko beat. And if that heartbeat journey to Morocco, its variations and if that heartbeat journeyed in to the earth we felt the global heart of all the four-legged beings the animals the water beings we could feel a connection a rhythmic symphony that's going on this is the music of life. And we want to experience the feeling that our heart beats in rhythm with the great pulse of the universe. And that's a quote from Joseph Campbell. That's the hero's journey. To find a way that your heart beats in rhythm with the great pulse of the universe. So it is. All right. Wow. Well, thank you for taking us around the world there. Uh, this has been just a, a wonderful hour. Uh, I want to thank our viewers for being with us today and for all of your fantastic questions and Christine for your wonderful responses. Once again, Awaken Your Healing Rhythm starts Tuesday, September 3rd. And again, you can visit yourhealingrhythms.com to learn more and to register. So Christine, before we go, do you have any final words for our viewers? If you are new to drumming and you've never played an instrument, you belong with us. If you feel called to the drum but you're afraid that you'll make a mistake, you belong with us in this journey. This is a beginning moment for you and you're transforming, the drum is calling you. If you've been drumming your whole life and you've never really had the chance to contemplate the deeper connections with spirit, liberating joy, releasing emotions, healing trauma, connecting to a global community, this is for you. So I look forward to seeing you. I'm grateful to the Shift Network, to all of you who are tuning in, and to all the teachers and the teachings of the elements that have brought these aspects of science and spirituality and the great sacred lineage of the drum into this course now. Aho. All right. Thank you again, Christina. It has been just a pleasure speaking with you today. Thank you for being here with us. Thank you, Lisa. You bet. And once again, thank you to everyone who joined us today. On behalf of all of us at the Shift Network, I wish you well and look forward to having you on this course or perhaps another one in the future. Have a great day, everyone. Mm -hmm.